What's going on everyone? Ains here, Season Gaming. And we've got a little holiday special for you today. So, first of all, happy holidays, happy new year to everyone watching this. As you know, this week, it's Christmas yesterday, it's December 26th as we're filming this, and we didn't do a big cast yesterday, but what Mr. Ty Guy Travis and I thought we would do is we would have a little Halo cook-off. So, a little while ago, the team over at 343 came out with a Halo cookbook. Now, Travis suggested this. He has the cookbook. He's done his baking already, or his cooking, I should say. And I'm gonna, as you can see here, set up to bake something today. So funny enough, I don't have the full cookbook yet, but I was given this at the Halo World Championship, which is a recipe for Samoa brownies. Now, they're these crazy complex brownies that require quite a lot of ingredients, and I am generally not a good cook at all. So. We are going to uh, take this moment by moment, step by step, and we're going to alternate between me and Travis, who is cooking, I believe, some lobster-filled potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead, start putting these ingredients together. We'll check back in with me briefly, but I'm going to pass it off to Travis right now. Hello. Welcome. I'm Chef Thai Guy Travis, and today we're going to be cooking a recipe from the official Halo cookbook, Recipes from Across the Galaxy. Our recipe today can be found on page 69, lobster loaded baked potatoes. It's a uh, delicacy. The text reads, you can't go wrong with the topping you throw on a baked potato, but Frank's definitely has it right. You need to try this lobster baked potato with all the amazing dairy you can fit. And there you go. Over here, we've got our recipe ingredients fully assembled and ready to go. Of course, we've got the all-important lobster tail. We've got various creams and cheeses and butters for the actual uh, slurry we're gonna be creating to put inside the potato. We've got two russet potatoes, obviously need those. And most importantly, we've got scallions where we're gonna get all of the flavor in this recipe. Let's get started. All right, checking back in here. We are off and running, so I've created the graham cracker crust, blended that up, it's in the fridge in the pan right now waiting. Uh, the thing that I found helps most honestly is alcohol. So drink if you can, I highly recommend it because I don't know who would ever choose to bake as a profession. This is ridiculous, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we are now getting ready to do the brownie batter. So I've gotta melt the butter, chocolate chip, sugar, etc and then uh, start to blend it all together so it can bake. And then there's actually a final piece we have to do where we put the marshmallows and graham crackers and everything on top, almost kind of like a s'more that you use a broiler for. So for now, I'm gonna get to work on the brownie batter, start mixing that and get it all ready to go in the oven. We will check back in with Mr. Thai Guy Travis now. All right, here we are 90 minutes later and we've got all of these steps done to actually assemble our potatoes. So first off, We've got our baked potatoes here. I baked these for 80 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I halved them uh, longwise and scooped out the uh, middles to put them in a separate bowl, which we're gonna use for the lobster concoction. Um, and the shells are gonna be used for the filling, obviously. We've also got our lobster tails here, which have been boiled uh, for uh, about four minutes each, uh, just to get the uh, meat really tender. So I'm gonna peel these apart and get the meat out. We've got some Sour cream, butter, cream cheese, shredded cheese, medium cheddar, minced garlic, and our scallions. So we've got everything ready to go to start and put our potatoes together. So we are back. We have created the brownie batter, which I gotta admit smells amazing. And we are getting ready to fold in the flour. That is full, fold in the flour. Any Shits Creek fans in the house. Um, we are doing this as you check in with Travis, and essentially what I'm going to do is finish up this batter, get it in the oven, we'll show you what it looks like before it goes in the oven, and then what it looks like when it comes out, and hopefully it is not too atrocious, we'll see. So, let me finish doing this, get it prepped for the oven, and we'll check back in. All right, our potatoes are loaded up and they are ready to go into the oven. We're gonna bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes, and when they come out, they will be ready to eat. Let's do it. All right, the oven's preheated. We're ready to go in. It looks pretty good. I can't, I don't want it to slide around and mess up and show you. Uh, of course, my wife let me know afterwards that I was, I was folding in the flour and making fun of myself for that. I was whisking at the same time, which you're apparently not supposed to do. So, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. 
but we're gonna make it work. It's going in the oven now, and we will check back in a final report here soon. But first, let's jump back over to Travis and see how his lobster potatoes turned out. All right, here we are, our finished product. These are cooked, piping hot, delicious looking. They smell amazing, I might say. And as you can see, pretty darn close. Pretty good. I think we did a good job. These are the lobster loaded baked potato from Franck in the Halo universe. I am Chef Thai Guy Travis in Ames. I'd like to see you top this. I know you can. Well, we had a accident here and it has, uh, it has turned these Samoa brownies into something truly special, I must say. So, finished product, bask in the glory that is these brownies. So, as you can tell, basically what happens at the end of the recipe is you finish the brownies and then you layer on more graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolate chips, you lay them on top, you switch your oven to a broiler, and you put them on top to toast the marshmallows. Sadly, what happened in our case is I had the parchment paper high so that it didn't go down behind. And when I put the pan on the top of the broiler, the paper literally hit the top of the oven and the damn thing caught on fire, like instantly. So we, I put it in the broiler literally for less than a minute and it, it just blew up the whole thing. So the sad part is I did try the brownie. The brownie and the graham cracker crust are actually quite good, but obviously the topping here is completely ruined. So if nothing else, it makes for a perfect end cap for this video and hell, it wouldn't be me and Travis doing something or season gaming if we didn't have a little fun and some disaster along the way. So it's been a lot of fun doing this with Travis for the holidays. Uh, I, I could see us making this some sort of tradition. Maybe we'll do July 4th. Maybe we'll do next holiday again. Maybe we'll do both. But either way, it's been a blast. I'll give Travis this round with his lobster potatoes. Those things actually look good and edible, whereas this you're going to have to kind of pick through to make salvageable. Um, but as always, it's been fun. So thank you uh, for the everyone at 343 creating the Halo book and working on things like this cookbook to, uh, to have fun with and for all they do with Halo. And thank you for all of you who tune in to Season Gaming. As always, it's been a blast and uh, I always appreciate the support. So thank you and we will see you whenever we have this next disaster that I promise to try to do better on. Until then.